uh, have a look at OPF Will of the Wisp from the Sorceress album. And this is a song that you need a capo for, and you're gonna have it on the fifth fret. Okay, so like all the strings are like up one perfect fourth interval. And um, and uh, you know, when they play it live, they play that song on electric guitars, clean mode, of course. Uh, uh, but I kind of like it. Not, I like to play it on the acoustic guitar. Um, all right, and yeah, uh, we're gonna cover the chords, the strumming patterns, uh, and the final guitar solo in this lesson today. I uh, really like this song. It's a very folky and um, kind of yeah uplifting, even if it's kind of a sorrowful <laughs> lyrics. Anyway, um, so we're gonna open with uh, with this little riff, and I think that's. Uh, I'm gonna try to simplify some stuff here, and then we'll tell you kind of how to keep your head, uh, you know, sane without reading too much tabs, uh, because it's more about you know kind of half random strumming patterns than you know, picking every single tab note correctly. Okay, so um, the opening riff then is maybe a more you have to be more exact. You're gonna do this that little thing, so. I do it like I play it like this. Um, they might play it in a different way, but I think it sounds correctly. So basically, downstroke on the minor chord, pull off the E first fret, well, sixth fret, but yeah, first fret with the cable, pull off the open string, um, and then uh, you're gonna do upstroke on on that chord, okay, and then down, and then up again. Okay, and the tempo is kind of like this. Okay. Right, and uh, for the remaining chords, uh, we're gonna have C chord with an added D, so that's like C at 9. Okay, and then we're gonna have the G. And then the final thing is gonna be little riff here right so uh, for the f for the second chord there uh, C at 9 um, so we're gonna come to this kind of basic strumming pattern that they play throughout this whole song uh, I mean more or less I think they do that uh, especially when I hit this main chord accentuate it on the downstroke right and then you're gonna do four strokes strokes on the uh, Kind of the middle strings of that chord, kind of, sort of, okay, like this. So, and the same with the G chord. One big stroke first, accentuated, and then four kind of quieter strokes in the on the middle strings. Okay, so like, and that. Yeah, and the final thing is uh, kind of a riff, so... So I'm gonna do open A, come on to second fret, and then you're gonna do uh, open D, and then you're gonna have three quiet strokes on the middle strings there. Sorry. Um, like this, sorry. Okay. So I'm gonna end off this whole thing with an upstroke. And then in the second line, pretty much the same thing, but the final chord is gonna be kind of plain G thing without that that riff, okay? So Okay, and that's pretty much the intro and verse uh, chords uh, on the riffs. Then here on the second slide we're gonna come to the pre chorus riff. Something like that, okay. So, uh, and you see that I mean, basically the same pattern when it comes to strumming uh, as before. Um, 
in the second bar in the first time we're gonna have like a little extra thing um, so we're gonna hit this and I'm not sure what chord it is it's like an F major but with an A in the bass so it's like F major over the um, yeah with the third in the bass so, so but then in the, anyway in the second bar you're gonna hit that third fret uh, on the E string high e string with your pinky and you're gonna pull it off right so it's like this Okay, then gonna Alright. And that's pretty gorgeous, pretty straightforward I hope. And then uh, well, sorry, then on slide three we have a continuation of that pre chorus. Uh, almost the same but the f uh, but some of the things are a bit different. I'm just gonna play through it. Okay, so that chord there, final chord in the first time, is a bit different there. It's a minor. Then they're gonna do B flat. Sus2, by the way. So. And then going to a C. Okay, so this whole thing. kind of something like that okay and um, then here on slide 4 I'm gonna come to the chorus riff um, and here so the thing is when they play this uh, live the you no know, Michael anyway he only does like that like a long chords okay And uh, on the recording, you can actually hear some kind of very fast, I think it's finger picking. Okay, like that. Uh, so, you know, there are many versions of that uh, chorus riff <laughs> how to pick and strum. Uh, but you know, it has to make it simple. You can hold on to this old strumming pattern. So, okay, that's maybe makes, makes it more simple, I don't know. Um, okay, so you can pick any strumming pattern you want, or finger pick it if you want. Okay, and here on side 5, we come to the bridge, and this is played, the slide is played twice, by the way. Uh, and it's right before the mini solo part, and it's basically three E minor chords with a slightly different strumming pattern. <laughs> this and then it's doing like I think it's doing something like that so it's like D chord okay stroke twice uh, and then C and D again and then A minor 7 and then C okay and then back to the E minor I think it's something of that sort of thing. Anyway. You know, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, orchestra thing, but other instruments playing along, and it's kind of hard to hear the guitar all the time. Uh, but it's something you know, along those lines. Yeah, and for that mini solo backing riff, which we have here, um, basically it's uh, gonna be like three E minor chords followed by one A minor, okay? So it's gonna be. Uh, Okay, and you do play this line four times, that first time four times. And then right after the mini solo, we're gonna have a little bridge again. And um, so we're gonna play it with this kind of new strumming pattern, which is a bit uh, less intense. I'm gonna do that G chord first, and then A minor, D, and then F. And then we're gonna have this little cool chord here. 
Moi, je vais lire à partir de ça, Sharp. And you're gonna play it four times. And then you're gonna have three chords twice. And then D twice. Alright? So there's some cool things going on. And uh, yeah, have fun with that. Uh, Okay, so that's the, you know, all the chords and the chord progressions. Now we're gonna switch to a uh, solo guitar. So, for the actual solo, we're gonna have this. Okay, so uh, not too complicated, I hope. Uh, and uh, I don't have to explain too much. There's a lot of legato playing going on here, as you can see. Um, the first you know, note here in the first bar in the first line and the second line. It's like a quick hammer on from third onto fifth fret, right? So like, it's not just plain note like that, but it's like this. And then the second line is. Then the legato lick. Yep. Alright. And that's pretty much it. And then here on the side eight, kind of continuation of the solo, but now it's gonna be played one octave higher. And um, and we're gonna start it a bit differently. We're gonna do like a unison bend. Okay, so that's B8, G10, and you're gonna bend the G string full step. Then we're gonna have that little lick, okay? And then in the second line, almost the same, but uh, the first bar is a bit different. So it's gonna be this kind of quick hammer on lick. But then it's gonna be hammer on to 12th fret on G. And then side nine, uh, kind of the uh, same thing uh, going on as before, uh, like it was like seven, but uh, this time we're gonna add a little fill in here in the first bar. Kind of goes like this. Okay, so we're gonna do this hammer on twice onto the fifth fret. Then he's doing like a quick uh, uh, D3. And then you're gonna do this um, very quick slide from fifth fret to third fret on E on the A string with your um, ring finger. Okay, so like this, and then just A one, and then landing on G three in the second bar. And what follows is the old legato lick. Okay. And uh, yeah, second line is the same as the first time. So, yeah, and uh, like at the very end of the song, he's playing kind of the same lick as uh, we played on the previous slide, you know, right here. Uh, and yeah, they kind of play this solo until the song fades out. And that's, uh, yeah, and that will be Will of the Wisp. Have fun with that. <laughs>